Well, the big story, India successfully launched its first mission to Mars this afternoon from the Sriharikota spaceport in Andhra Pradesh, beginning a 300-day journey to study the Martian atmosphere. Mangalyan, which means Mars craft in Hindi, is the size of a small car and is scheduled to begin orbiting Mars by September, searching for methane and signs of minerals. The satellite is golden in color and is being carried by a rocket much smaller than American or Russian equivalents. Lacking the power to fly directly, the 350-ton launch vehicle will orbit Earth for nearly a month, building up the necessary velocity to break free from our planet's gravitational pull. Only then will it begin the second stage of its nine-month journey, which will test India's scientists to the full, five years after they sent a probe, the Chandrayaan, to the moon. The total cost of the project is 450 crores, one-sixth of the cost of a Mars probe set to be launched by NASA in 13 days. Only the US, Europe and Russia have sent probes that have orbited or landed on Mars successfully. Probes to Mars have a high failure rate. A similar mission by China failed to leave Earth's orbit in 2011. Zero, plus one. A passion for pushing science to its limits and immense patience is the driving force behind the Mars Orbiter mission. These scientists knew that one minute error on launch day could have blown 450 crores and 18 months of effort to pieces. Two instruments on the orbiter will take 360 degree pictures of the Martian surface and look for minerals. One instrument will study the Mars atmosphere, another will map just how much water, if any, is present. A fifth instrument will check for the presence of methane, which could indicate if life ever existed on Mars. ISRO is also hoping to make discoveries that previous Mars missions may have missed. Chandrayaan 1 has shown uh, something uh, important which previous missions have not seen, discovery of water molecules on the surface of the uh, uh, moon. Possibly this mission also uh, using our sci-fi science instruments, a new discoveries, I think we are waiting for it. I am extremely happy to announce that the PSLV C-25 vehicle has placed the Mars Orbiter spacecraft very precisely into an elliptical orbit around Earth. This is the 25th flight of our PSLV and it has been it has been a new and complex mission design to ensure that we would be able to move the Mars Orbiter spacecraft from the orbit of Earth to the orbit of Mars with minimum energy. Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh was quick to congratulate the entire team of ISRO on the landmark achievement in the Mars mission. The Prime Minister's official Twitter page tweeted, and the President of India, Pranab Mukherjee, also congratulated the Indian Space Research Organization scientists for the successful launch of the Mars Orbiter spacecraft PSLV C-25. He said that the launch was a significant milestone in the progress of India's space program and space applications. He said that the day will go down as a landmark in the country's space program, inspiring scientists to make even greater strides in achieving national goals in the field of space. Congress President Sonia Gandhi also lauded the Indian Space Research Organization scientists for their successful launch of the historic Mangalyaan mission. In a congratulatory message to the scientists, Ms. Gandhi said, Every Indian is proud of this outstanding scientific feat by a great scientist. Unquote. 